Hello everyone, Alvin here from Relab. I'm going to talk to you about another design sprint method, particularly on remote design sprints. This time it's going to be about user feedback notes and how do you take notes during a user interview. So I've done a, another video previously about how do you facilitate a remote design sprint user interview or user testing. Go and have a look at that, but on a different room when you're in a team, when someone's facilitating the interview and doing the interviews, then other team members would be taking notes. If you're only by yourself and you were doing the interview, then record your interview and then take notes after um, when you can watch your user interview. But this is about how do you take notes um, when, when you're reviewing or analyzing your user interviews. Um, before we continue, I'd like to say thank you if you've been following us and leaving us a comment and liking our videos and subscribing. If you haven't done so, please do so. And hopefully all of these videos that we've been uploading is valuable and helpful for your career or your studies or whatever it is that you're doing. And let's get on to our mural. All right, so user feedback notes. Um, the first thing that we like to do uh, is to have proper segments on um, the type of feedbacks that you'd like to get. Um, we start off with the different segments of the product interface itself. It can be a feature, it can be an experience, it can be a page. Uh, it depends on how you wanna do it and think about this strategically. But I'll give you a couple of examples. We've decided to go um, based on the prototype that we have, uh, we've segmented creating an account, well, sign up and sign in. Dashboard is another area. Uh, product and collection is another segment and orders and others. So think about the best way and the most efficient way for you to be able to group your notes so they don't all get mixed up together. Um, the next thing that we'd like to do is split up your segment, your interface segment or, or whatever note segment that you've created into positive comments, negative comments, and neutral comments. Um, so it's clear for you to just type in whatever positive feedback that you may have, or the, sorry, the user may have, and, um, and just type it in there, all right? Um, and so we do, it, we do that across all of the other segments as well. Uh, now I'm using Mural here, but by all means, you can use any other ways of doing this, but in a remote design sprint, method, then I would use Mural. Or if you don't use Mural, you can use um, Miro. Or the most simple way is probably to use a spreadsheet, like a Google spreadsheet or something like that, that you can collaborate with. So just have different tabs for different people. Um, I'll show you how we do it in Mural. Now, oh, sorry, the other thing that we need to do is probably write down who's the user that we're testing here. Uh, that has come in for testing. So I'm just going to type in Tom, who is a retail manager, manager. And remember that Tom is a real person who we've invited, but Tom resembles our proto persona. If you've seen our series in this remote design sprint session, uh, uh, remote design sprint videos, you would have uh, remembered Rebecca, who was our proto persona. So Tom is like a Rebecca. I mean, Tom's a guy, let's not get into there. But um, Tom is a retail manager, 30 to 40 year olds, 40 year old group. And that's probably enough. Okay. And then, um, so this board, this area here is mine. Uh, my name is Alvin. So I'm just going to put, this is me, Alvin, Alvin's board. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because you might be taking notes alongside your other team members who are doing the exact same thing as you, but to not confuse yourselves, I'll just put Alvin here. And then, you know, you could spread out the board and you, or use a different area within the mural and just have another person over there. Uh, whoever your team member is, but everyone's, everyone has their own area, if that makes sense. Okay. So this is Alvin's note for 
Tom's user testing on these different segments. Uh, I've just put other as well, but by all means, usually uh, in an actual scenario, we might have more than what we have here. And what I'll do is I'll show you an example of how to take notes. And so what I'm doing here is I'm just listening to the user interview as the facilitator is going through it and going through the tasks and scenarios. I'd be listening carefully and, and observing and I'll type in my assumptions on what I'm hearing. So I'll just change this post it to one of these. I always like the rectangular one actually because that gives me a bit more space to write. So positive comments, okay, I'm listening in, right? Oh, the first one that I'm, I've heard is something negative. Um, uh, it would be great. Great, this is Tom talking to have a Facebook sign up feature. All right, so I just continue in listening and then Tom said something good and might be a quote even. Uh, this is, uh, this is perfect. I definitely use it. And so on and so forth. I'll just type a couple more. So Tom's dropped in another positive comment about sign up or sign in. The interface looks familiar that it's easy enough for me. And then what's a neutral comment? I'll give you an example. So a neutral comment might be if Tom's just dropped in some knowledge bomb all of a sudden and say, I know an app that does something well around this. Uh, I know X app, they do really well on this part, you know? Um, so, Obviously, user testing sessions go for about an hour, roughly per, per user. So I won't spend all of that time trying to show you how to do this, but hopefully you get the idea. I'll just double click in Mural and I'll type in as I go, type a comment or feedback as I go. And so the way these Sections are segmented as well is based on how your user tasks and scenarios are being set up. So this is something that you've worked on as a team, but as you can see here, I'm following the flow of the user testing scenario, which started off with signing up or signing in. The user will land into a dashboard. So as soon as the scenarios hit the dashboard area, I'll start typing in my comments here and leave that other one over there. And then into products and collection, and into orders, into fulfillment, which is part of orders and any other comments that the person may have towards the end of it or during summary or during debrief. Um, and that is pretty much it. And so the next user tester will come in, which is not Tom, which is someone else. I'll just copy this area here and create another one for, I don't know, Sarah or someone, all right? Which is still under Alvin's user testing user feedback notes. And then my other team members will have the same thing as me. And um, later on, what we need to do is just consolidate all of the different comments that will inform us on the next best action to take after the sprint. All right, hopefully that's helpful guys. And if you haven't uh, subscribed or comment or liked, I'd really appreciate it. And otherwise, I hope you have a good day.